Welcome to my channel. Today is Anzac Day in Australia. It's only the 24th here in America, but in Australia it's already the 25th of March. Or, or excuse me, April. <laughs> Can't even get my months right. It's the 25th of April, and that is Anzac Day. What is Anzac Day? Well, I'm going to show you. Anzac Day in Australia and New Zealand is a holiday that commemorates the landing in 1915 during World War I of the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, Anzac, on the Gallipoli Peninsula. The Allies attempted to take control of the strategic Dardanelles from Turkey, allied with the Central Powers in the so-called Dardanelles Campaign, which began in February 1915. Anzac forces landed on April 25th and seized the beachhead at, which, at what came to be called Anzac Cove on the Aegean side of the peninsula. Despite additional landings by other troops during the succeeding months, the Allies could not capture the strait and they suffered enormous losses from battle and disease. By December 1915, the Allied troops, including the Anzac forces, had been withdrawn. Nonetheless, the Anzac troops earned a reputation for valiant fighting, and they then served with distinction in France and in the Middle East. Later, in 1917, the Australian and the New Zealand forces were separated, and Anzac thus ceased to exist. In 1920, Australia and New Zealand created Anzac Day as an official holiday to honor those who had fought in the Dardanelles campaign. Since then, it has been broadened to become a more Memorial Day, honoring all those who served and died in the World Wars I, World War II, and in the Korean and Vietnam Wars. It is a public holiday marked by religious services and parades, and by ceremonies in which veterans participate. <clears throat> the Cook Islands, Tonga, and Samoa also observe the day. So it's not just in Australia. I have a number of Australian viewers and subscribers, and so I wanted to dedicate this day to them. They have requested several songs. Among them is Eric Bogle's The Band Played Walsing Matilda, Cold Chisel's K Son, and Five Finger Death Punch, Wrong Side of Heaven. And since I normally do four songs each day, I've added a fourth song by Fred Smith called The Dust of Aruzgan. This is by an Afghanistan vet of Australia. And I thought I would play that first because it's probably one that you've, or maybe one that you've never heard before. But again, this day is dedicated to the veterans of the wars that Australia has participated in, and to those who never came home. As I always do in my videos, I pray for each of you that you will have an abundant life, that you will live a long time, that you'll be healthy, and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray the same for each of the people that you love, for every single one of them. And I also pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.